In this video, we're having a look at the WD Black SN7100. Hi, I'm Lee. Welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a lovely day. I know that that uh, product title just sort of rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? So what is this? This is a two terabyte solid state drive. It comes in multiple formats. You can get it in 512, one terabyte, two terabytes, and I believe four terabytes now, although it didn't come in four terabytes when it was first announced. Interesting drive. So I'd almost call it a Goldilocks drive in the sense that it's not the fastest, it's not the slowest, it's not the cheapest, it's not the most expensive, it's kind of sort of somewhere in the middle. And where it's specialized is that it is specialized for mobile devices, so it's optimized um, for to run really cool and run really efficiently. So if you're looking for expanding the storage in a laptop or a mobile gaming device or something like that, that can take the NVMe connectors that this has. Um, I think it's the M2. Yes, I believe it's the M2. Um, yeah, this is the drive to look at. Now, I did a couple of tests with this and you'll see up here that I'll put on, or no, up here, up here, somewhere, somewhere in these areas, I will put up the speed test that I did. And you'll notice that I'm always interested by, by, by the speed tests and the, the, the quoted speeds that, that they say that you can get with these drives because, in fact, this is a bit, a bit interesting with this one. So on the box, you can see there that on the box it says that it will do up to 7,000 megabits, megabytes, I can never remember which one it is, um, per second. Yet when I went to the Amazon page um, of this device, it says that it'll do up to 7,250. In fact, on SanDisk's website, it says that it'll do up to 7,250 read and 6,900 write speeds. So even on the box and on the website, there's a bit of a disparity and it's, it's a bit of a fun duggle to be honest, but <clears throat> it's actually not really an issue because quite frankly, unless you know the wind is just right and you're going downhill and you're never going to get those speeds anyway. I mean, it's theoretically possible, but you're never going to get those speeds. And quite frankly, you actually don't need to. So in actual practical use cases, I did a couple of tests in terms of how I actually use this drive. Now, I used it inside my Acasis case. So again, I wasn't using it in the optimum uh, way that it's supposed to be used because this is meant to be used inside a device, but I don't have a laptop to put it in. So I was using it inside the Acasis case, plugged in using a Thunderbolt 4 cable into an M4 MacBook Pro. And the speeds that I was getting, again, you can see the speed test up there, but in terms of actual use case, what I was doing is I transferred 300 and something gigabytes worth of files, and it was over 1,000 files. And I deliberately do that in my test because I find that if you just transfer one big file, you don't get a, a very often you, you're not transferring just one giant 300, 400, two, four terabyte file you're transferring lots of bits and bobs. So I'm transferring a thousand files, 300 gigs. It was about just under two minutes time to transfer that onto uh, from the drive onto my laptop. And then I did a quick test of throwing some 6K Pixis files onto it. So that's 6K Blackmagic RAW files. Opened up in DaVinci Resolve, moved them around, was playing them around a bit absolutely no issues, no staggering, no nothing. So in terms of use case, you know, the speed that I was getting was absolutely fine and more than enough to do what most people will need to do. So I think if you are in the market for a drive that runs pretty cool, pretty efficient, so again, that's the key is that if you're looking for something that's going to be really efficient in a mobile device like a laptop or a gaming device, this is definitely a drive worth looking at. Um, nice and quick one because it's a solid state drive, not much else to talk about. I hope this video was helpful. I hope it was useful. If you have liked this video and found it helpful useful please like and subscribe if you've already subscribed thank you so much for your support and we'll uh, catch you on the next one safe and happy whatever it is you're doing you see simon you said i couldn't get the word fun duggle into a video review and i believe i proved you wrong don't you feel like a bit of a fun duggle yourself Hmm? Um, what else? No, that's that's everything I wanted to cover. I need to review of this because, yep, yeah, this is actually a really nice little case. A quick review on that, just in the bloopers. It's hands-free, so you just pop it off, you get the thing out and pop it in and so on. So it's really easy, particularly if you're 
you probably shouldn't take drives in and out really all the time, but if you are like you're reviewing stuff, really handy to have.